Welcome to Indigo Gaming. Today's guide is for the achievement, The Harder They Fall, on the mission Shatter the Sky in the Wings of Liberty campaign. First, I will do a walkthrough on Normal to show the strategy. After that, I will do a walkthrough on Brutal. Welcome to the normal walkthrough for the achievement, The Harder They Fall. The achievement's requirements are to destroy the Leviathan within two minutes of it appearing in the mission. The Leviathan is a very large Zerg flyer that will spawn after you destroy the second cooling tower on the mission. This mission is all about destroying the coolant towers on each platform to destroy the Zerg's air force on Char. Well, that's not going to be a good wall. When you destroy one of the coolant towers, the platform that it is operating on will start to count down and eventually explode. Any forces that are on that platform will be destroyed, so you have to destroy the coolant tower and then get out before it explodes. As I said, once you destroy the second tower, the Leviathan will spawn somewhere in this area on the far left side of the map. Since the Zerg Leviathan is a large armored flyer, your best tool to use against it will be Vikings. So the strategy I recommend is you build up your large fleet of Vikings, battle cruisers, wraiths if you're adventurous, and then destroy the second tower. So that way you are ready as soon as the Leviathan spawns. Get back over there. I'm gonna go ahead and get the walls set up at the front of my entrances, get SCVs going, and start two armories so I can get ship upgrades going right away. Ship upgrades, because I plan to use, obviously, Vikings to deal with the Leviathan once it spawns, but also I'm going to use Banshees to deal with the coolant towers. Viking, or I can bring this battle cruiser actually. Battle cruiser will help me deal with the mutalisks. Get rid of the overseer. First coolant tower destroyed by the handful of banshees I had. Not enough Vespin yet to get the mercenary vikings. You can see the countdown timer in the upper right part of the screen. Once that hits zero, 
the platform's going to explode in a glorious cutscene. Sorry, Zerg players. There are resource pickups on the platform that you can pick up after its destruction. Plus one finished, start plus two. Clear out this expansion so I can get some extra Vespine going. Almost. Plus two armor. Definitely gonna want ship upgrades to fight the Leviathan. Definitely do not want to destroy the second coolant tower until I'm ready to deal with the Leviathan, because once it spawns, I will only have two minutes to kill it for the achievement. Definitely need more Vikings. And ideally, plus three attack. But there's no reason that I can't use my forces to poke at this Zerg base, I plan to destroy the top coolant tower as my second choice. That base has Zerg at it. Definitely plenty of Banshees. Do not need to make any more, so I'm just switching to full Viking production.
Knight sent a Broodlord to attack the base. I could have responded with the Battle Cruiser, actually. Start plus three attack. And the focus is just on building up enough Vikings to be comfortable, confident, in destroying the Leviathan as quickly as possible. Take this third base for some more Vespine because that is definitely what I am lacking. If you have the automated refineries, you don't even need a command center to get the Vespine. Vikings are repaired up too. Battlecruiser, since the Battlecruiser can hit air and benefits from all of the ship upgrades I've been getting. As soon as plus three is done, I will destroy the coolant tower, because I think I have more than enough Vikings now. Let's make it even better by getting the mercenaries. Not enough minerals, apparently. Definitely more than enough Vikings now. Plus three is about to finish. Send the Banshees to destroy the coolant tower. And it should spawn somewhere in this area, if I remember correctly. Coolant tower destroyed. Banshees are safe. Vikings are doing fine. And looks like plus three armor is going to finish too. Here goes the explosion along with the Leviathan. Bet you wish that was in multiplayer, huh, Zerg? So, oh, it spawns in the far bottom corner. So now, I only have two minutes to kill it. Focus fire. Dies easily. 
completely easy. The harder they fall, completed on normal difficulty. From this point, you do not have to complete the mission. You've already got the achievement just for killing the Leviathan. I built a total of, looks like, 38 Vikings. I think that was absolutely overkill. You do not have to go as far as I did, but you certainly can. It's up to you, your comfort, and your confidence. And now, to go to the brutal walkthrough. Welcome to the brutal walkthrough for the achievement The Harder They Fall. Sir, I'm scanning to get a positive fix on all the towers. You got it. I'll mark the tower coordinates on your map. The achievement's requirements are to destroy the Leviathan within two minutes of it spawning in the mission. This mission is all about destroying the coolant towers on each platform to cause an explosion and destroy the Zerg bases on those platforms. The Leviathan will spawn after you destroy the second cooling tower. So until that point, you can just build up your army and focus on getting your upgrades. Very helpful. To get the achievement, all you need is a heavy group of anti-air units. Since the Leviathan is considered armored, I highly recommend a fleet of Vikings both the mercenary kind, Hell's Angels, and the normal Vikings you make from a starport. Get up a large group of Vikings, then destroy the coolant tower, then kill the Leviathan. It should be made aware that the Leviathan will spawn in the bottom left corner and then start to move up out of that base, so you will meet it down in that corner and kill it right as it spawns because you only have two minutes. That's a ways away though. Once you start the mission, just make your SCVs. Get the walls going at the front entrances. Lose your SCV at the front wall too if you want. I said that the Vikings will be used to deal with the Leviathan, however, you still need to destroy the coolant towers in the meantime and to make it spawn, so I'm going to use a force of Banshees to deal with the ground units. Since I'm already getting ship upgrades to help the Vikings, the Banshees will benefit greatly. You also have two expansions that you can take, both on one on each side of your main base that you start at. Bring the battle cruiser so he can deal with the mutalisks while I start clearing out one of these expansions. In my normal playthrough, I found that I definitely needed Vespine gas for the mission. I was low on Vespine pretty consistently, trying to make both Banshees and Vikings a bit of an economic force.
like to get my upgrades started next so they can start rolling. Don't lose the battle cruiser to a spore crawler. Now that that base is cleared, bring a few SCVs down, build automated refineries so I can collect my Vespin without a geyser, or a command center, excuse me. Still need a geyser. Just get my forces out of the red here. I definitely will also recommend waiting until plus three is done for your Vikings because you have enough time. The Leviathan spawns after you destroy a coolant tower so you can get completely ready and then make it spawn. Get your plus three attack at the very least. walk right through a spore crawler. That's fine too. Matt, I was not aware I had anything at the tunnel entrance. Should be plenty of banshees now. Start making my way towards this first coolant tower. Start plus two armor. Now that that coolant tower is destroyed, I have a countdown in the upper right of the screen. When that hits zero, the platform will explode. You can skip the cutscenes at any time, it just shows the explosion that happened on the platform. 
now I'm going to start working on this expansion so I can take my third base, get that extra Vespeen. Looks like plus two attack is about to finish. Start plus three right away. still have all 10 banshees so that should be enough to destroy the second coolant tower. I plan to destroy this one in the upper part. Grab a few SCVs, go ahead and take this third base. Plus three armor started. Some science vessels to heal. Get the mercenary Vikings too. Plus three armor is about halfway done. Plus three attack is finishing. I'm up to 23. 26 Vikings. And before I destroy this coolant tower though, I want to go ahead and make sure that all of my forces are in position. Maybe lose my expansion. Start pushing my way towards this bottom left area since that's where the Leviathan is going to spawn. This should be a good area to fight the Leviathan because it's just before you get into this Zerg base, but still close enough to the corner where the Leviathan spawns that it should be well within the time requirement. Let's 
take a total count. I have 38, so 37 Vikings. That should be plenty to get this job done. So I'm going to go ahead and send my Banshees to kill that second coolant tower. Banshees destroyed the tower, that platform is going to explode, and my forces are all ready. Skip the cutscene. It's another explosion and showing the Leviathan spawn. Now I'm going to let the Banshees loose and target fire the Leviathan. Easily done. Get my forces out of here. And that is all you have to do for the achievement. The harder they fall, completed on normal and brutal difficulties. The strategy was essentially the same and felt quite easy to do. Spawn into the mission, start your ship upgrades, start making a group of banshees to kill the towers, and then a large force of vikings to deal with the leviathan. Again, the leviathan will spawn after you destroy the second coolant tower. And it always spawns in this bottom left corner, as far as I can tell. So destroy the second tower, have your forces standing by, and ready to kill the Leviathan as soon as it spawns. I hope this was helpful. Thank you very much for watching, and have a great day.